Good morning, fam. This is um, Harvest Ministries. Formerly, it was at Gina's place, and it's December 21st, 2021, and about 9 a.m. or 9.15 a.m. I just want to welcome everybody back, and I want to thank everybody for listening for um, what Yahshua gives me from time to time. Thank you, family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I ask you just to share with others. Now's the time to start sharing. Um, he's still giving me my dreams and uh, my visions. So I just want you just to hold on to what he t he's talking to everybody with. Because he not only shares it with me, he shares it with others as well. I want to start out by saying, please love thy neighbor. Please read your word. From the beginning of the book, he left the entire book, not just the New Testament. Read the entire book. Yes. Okay. Well, let's start out with a little prayer that will take us through today. Um, <clears throat> and um, just focus on his word. That's what I'm coming for today, to focus on his word. His word is precious, and he left it for his children. My Father in heaven, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all that you are doing and all that you are about to do. Father God, we thank you for your guidance. We thank you, Father God, for all your messages that you send. We thank you, Father God, for just being here and have been protected. And for those who have been injured, Father, we pray for them. We pray, hallelujah. We pray for their healing, Father God, because I know that's around the corner. Oh, hallelujah, Father God. We ask you to just allow someone just to reach out and share. Let them know that God is still a healer. Yahshua can do all things. Hallelujah. His healing has not stopped, but it's getting ready to increase. Father God, we know who you are, Father God, and we are learning more and more because all was not taught in the church. Father God, we thank you right now. Sometimes it has to be a shaking for people to open their eyes and see because, you know, we were just going on about our daily um, excursions and then our daily little um, routines and things, and we was not taking time out to really give you honor, glory, and praise and say hallelujah. We thank you, Most High. We thank you, Yeshua, for who you, who you are and what you are doing to this day and that you are moving by your word. We thank you for all of your word because all the way down to the end is truth. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you in your precious holy name. Family. I want to encourage you to stay in your word. Focus on Revelation because that's the time we're living in. But read the entire word. You can go back to the book of Daniels and there's some um, symbolic things throughout Revelation. And there are things in Daniel that connect the two. You can go to Ezekiel and read some um, symbolic things there too. But most of all, that's so incredible. Your eyes are going to be open. Start from Genesis. Stop listening to people that says, oh, start in Matthew. That is not true. My father left the entire book, the entire book, not to just start in one particular area. Family, believe his word is true. Stay focused on his word. This is a short message. Start your day out right. Pray, pray, and give him some of your time of reading his word every day. We need him every day, not just once or twice a week. And I know we've all been guilty of being slack on reading his word, and even in prayer, and even in fasting time. But right now, there's no time to be slumbering. It is time to stand up, be guarded in your minds, Pray and ask God to reveal to you all things. Almost time, family. 
Be ready. He's soon to come. Have a blessed day.